in July 92, that's last year, but a uh, year ago, we were lucky to get Sister Pia de Rosario to start our violin program. Prior to that, for about a year, we took a serious survey of Cebu. We went around to try to look for a violin teacher. In my time when I was young, I hate to say, how long it was, but I must <laughs> I have to tell you that, so if you have an idea, it's at least 40 years ago, that's when I was young. It was young, Mr. He was the only violin institution in Sabu. And in fact, he was teaching here at uh, our mother's school. And uh, he has a son, Siti, a medal. I think that's not a to look for him to try to see if he would be interested to come and teach us. It uh, turned out that he was, uh, I mean, he had three or four students and not too regular, and he said he was feeling so well and he really didn't feel he could tackle the violin teaching program. So that was that. Then at that time we had also Mr. Viola, I don't remember, King Viola? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Then he left for Guam and then for Dava and we couldn't trace him. Then the other violinist was Mike Viola's who left for Hong Kong. And so we looked all around and discovered that there was nothing. We had to look elsewhere. So through Sister Classic, we found Sister Pia first. So she came down here, but before that, of course, we had no violins in the first place, so we had to go and look for violins. We brought in 100 violins. And then Sister Pia came into the picture, and then uh, two or three months later, about September, for them, yes. we were very lucky to have Mr. Rodel Flores join our faculty. And since then, I think we can uh, modestly say that our violin program has been uh, a little miracle. But uh, we will have more on Mr. Flores uh, a bit later. On the violin uh, students, Mr. Flores plans to shift two or three of his most advanced students in violin now to Viola. So he is in the process of doing that. Uh, now, this June, we have Mr. Esther Dana, who we will introduce to you properly in a short while. She has joined our cello faculty, so we also have cello. We brought in eight instruments of our own because, again, we had no instruments at all in Cebu. We had done the same for viola, we also have eight instruments. For contrabass, we just uh, bought four, and they are still in Manila going through customs, so they are not yet in Cebu, but we already have two lined up who are going to study bass. So with those instruments, we see the outlines of the string program. We have the violin, we will have the viola, we have the cello, and the bass is coming very soon. So that would form the basis of the string and sound. Now, as you know, I'm sure, as you are very well aware, if you look at the picture there, the red dots represent the string section. In a full orchestra, the strings compose about two-thirds of the whole ready-made violinists to, to uh, produce a ready-made orchestra, we figured that we really have to start from the bottom to take the first of the 10,000 steps and educate the youth, and in that way we go through a process and then take the best and hopefully attain our objectives. Uh, additionally, apart from the new cello offering for this year, we also were very lucky to have Mr. Rodel Vidal and Mr. Roberto del Rosario as additional faculty. And again, they will be properly introduced a bit later by Susan. 